Bird feeding is an incredibly popular hobby. In 2015, over 40% of Americans said they fed the birds in their backyard regularly. While some people love feeding all the birds in their yard, certain species that are non-native, such as house sparrows or European starlings in the United States, or those that are bullies, can cause problems for the native species that are more shy. Thankfully, there are a few ways to keep problem birds away from your feeders, including these five. Number one, use size selective feeders. Many birds that can be problematic and more aggressive are larger in size. Using a feeder with spaced out bars around it can prevent these birds from entering your feeder while allowing smaller birds to partake in the feast. These feeders may also help keep squirrels away depending on the bar size. However, some larger native species may also be excluded from these feeders, which is one downside. Barred feeders are perfect for chickadees, nuthatches, and goldfinches, which can easily pass by the bars. Woodpeckers may also be able to reach seeds in these feeders due to their larger bill size. In addition to feeders with bars that some birds can actually fit through, other feeders have bars around them instead of perches. This allows agile species to perch on the bars and feed, while discouraging larger, less acrobatic birds from coming around. Number two, only feed certain seeds. Some problem birds are not fond of safflower or thistle seed. By only using these types of seeds, you can encourage birds such as chickadees, finches, and cardinals to eat at your feeder, while discouraging bully species. Some non-native and more aggressive species prefer to eat corn, millet, wheat, and sunflower seeds. However, I have noticed one nuisance species in America, the house sparrow, still seems quite happy to eat thistle seeds. Number three, provide feeders of multiple types in different locations. If you like feeding all the birds in your yard, but don't like certain species being bullied, you can set up different types of feeders and put them in different locations. For example, a finch feeder in one part of your yard and a platform feeder in another. Having multiple setups can require a lot of refilling, but it might help you achieve higher diversity of species in your yard with less bullying. Some backyard feeder watchers will also set up diversion feeders that are away from the rest of their feeders and have food items that invasive species actually prefer, such as cracked corn. A cracked corn bird feeder will generally be a favorite of house sparrows and can keep them away from the rest of the seeds, allowing native birds to eat without being bothered. Number four, use deterrence. This applies mostly to one of the most numerous invasive birds in North America, the house sparrow. You can purchase devices to attach to your feeder, such as the magic halo, that hangs above the bird feeder and allegedly helps deter house sparrows. However, some people suggest simply using monofilament fishing line. It is thought that hanging a few strands of this on your bird feeder safely and responsibly will help keep house sparrows away, which do not want to pass by the line. Other species do not seem deterred by the strands. Number five, keep seeds off the ground. Many aggressive birds prefer to feed on the ground, so having a platform underneath your feeders to catch falling seeds may help keep these birds away. As opposed to having a platform, you could also put something like a garbage can under your feeder to collect excess seeds. It's unlikely that bully birds will go into the can to feed. Backyard bird feeding is a great hobby, and hopefully these five tips can help you attract native species and prevent possible problem birds from taking over your yard. Have you tried any of these tips? How did they work for you? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.